Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. And from this video, I will show you how you can use loops in shell scripting. And we will start with while loops. So first of all, what are loops? The loops are used to execute a list of command repeatedly. So if you want to uh, execute a command or list of commands repeatedly, you can use loops. So let's see how we can use while loop. And first of all, we will see what is the syntax of while loop. So the syntax of while loops looks like this. So you use the keyword while and in the square bracket, you give the condition which you want to evaluate. And if the condition is true, then this uh, command which are in between the keyword do and done are executed, right? So you, you write the keyword do and then whatever command you want to execute. And when you are done with uh, the while loop, then you use the keyword done. So let's take an example and then we will see how we can use loops. So what I want is I want to print uh, the number one to 10 uh, using while loop. So I'm going to declare a variable uh, n is equal to one. So I'm assigning the value of one to n variable. And then we will evaluate a condition. So what condition we want to evaluate? We want to evaluate whether the value of n is less than or equal to 10 or not. And we have seen this uh, minus le flag in the if conditions also, right? Now inside or in between do and done keyword, we can execute any command. So what we are going to do is we are going to use echo and then we are going to print the value of n. But still we are not done because we are just printing the value of n and the value of n is one, right? So it will execute uh, infinitely because this condition is always true, right? So we want the code to increment the value of n and then we are good to go. So how we can increment the value of n? We can uh, just use uh, n is equal to and then you can uh, just write dollar and double brackets and then n plus uh, one like this. And then this will increment the value of n by one and assign it to n once again, right? So let's run the script once again and let's see what happens. And it prints the value of n or it prints the number one to 10, right? Now what's happening in this loop? So we have initially assigned the value of n is equal to one. And then once uh, this while loop is reached, this while loop evaluates if the value of n is less than or equal to 10 or not. And first of all, the value of n is one, which is less than or equal to 10, which is true. And then it prints the value of n, which is one. So it prints one here and then increments the value of uh, n by one. So now the value of n becomes two. And once again, it will go at the top. And then here, now the value of n is two, which is still less than or equal to 10. So once again, this code is executed, right? And the two is printed, right? And in this way, this will increment the value of n until 10 is reached. And uh, when the value of n is 10, this condition is still met because n is equal to 10, which is, uh, you know, confirming to this condition. So it will print the value of uh, 10 here. And then once the value of n becomes 11 and it reaches here, so 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So this loop condition is false at this time and then this code will not be executed. So once this loop condition is false, the code will not be executed, right? So this is what is happening here. Now, the incrementation of a variable n you can do in several ways. So you can uh, do something like this, or you can just use these double bracket to increment the value of n, and you can use double plus, which means post increment, right? 
So once again, when I run the script, it prints the value one to 10 once again. Now you can also do pre-increment like this. So just do pre-increment and once again, I will run the script and it prints the value of 10 once again, one to 10. Now in here, instead of using these square brackets, you can also use these double parentheses as we have seen with the if conditions also. So this notation will also work, but instead of using this uh, minus LE flag, you now need to use this kind of angle bracket and E is equal to, right? So whenever you are using double parentheses, you need to give this kind of uh, conditions, right? And then once again, when you run the script, it still prints the value one to 10, right? Let me clear the terminal and uh, this is how you can use while loops in bash scripting now in the next video i'm going to show you how you can for example uh, read the files using while loops and do some other cool stuff with while loops so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now